The basic problem is we don't trust Bristol Airport. As part of their planning permission, their recent planning permission that they've obtained, they've got some planning conditions, and amongst those are limits to the number of night flights. The problem is who's counting? Every time a plane takes off or lands, it's captured on a transponder by the runway. So we decided to try and make this information more accessible through a website that will show people how many night flights have happened in previous nights, in the previous month and in the previous year to check that Bristol Airport is sticking to their annual limits. They know they're being watched in a way that they can't pull apart and say, well, this isn't very statistically evident. It, it, it is, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's drawn on data that's you know utilized by Oxford University etc etc so you couldn't get a more legitimate source than what we are providing. We're seeking to address really the fact that we've had this long fight against Bristol Airport against them expanding and eventually the inspectors have said that despite the harms that would be caused by expansion the airport should be allowed to expand. Now the only thing then that we can do is to try and then monitor what the airport are doing we don't just want to give up and go away we want the airport to know that we are here, we're watching, and we are making sure that they stick to the planning conditions that they now have. I think the Grounding Technologies funding has been transformational for our group. They asked us, how do you know this tool is, is wanted? How do you know that people will make use of it? What we wanted to do was create a focus group that re was representative of our followers, if you like. So we did invite people from different political backgrounds, different types of working backgrounds, different ages. It was really rich. We learned a lot. I think we changed 26 things on the website as a result of those conversations with those people. We're really keen that this resource is readily available and used by the local community. But of course, we know that around the UK, there are another 20 airports that are looking to expand. So we want to make this website tool available to other campaign groups under the brand of Eyeson. So look out, you might see Eyeson Heathrow, Eyeson Gatwick, who knows? It's really hard for people to fight against a big multi-million pound organisation. So we're hoping that we can gather people together and that we can help people to understand how they can actually, you know, ha have some say. The ultimate dream is that the global aviation industry finally realise that expansion of airports is having a real detrimental impact on people and planet. And hopefully decisions are going to be made across the board that we can't afford to increase flying. It would be great to think that in the future, Izon isn't going to be needed. Bristol Airport! We're watching you!